Hello everyone, quick video today on a macro I shared, a couple of macros I shared the other week, the other week month on Facebook. I just wanted to do a video on it rather than leave it as text so we can I can show you a bit better how it works and the limitations of this macro, the load layout. Right, so we have here very basic six lights, nothing too fancy, and we have sequences, one with a colour, one with gobo, and gobo spin. Right, nice and basic, just to show you how this is all going to work. So as you've seen, these are all acting as a go button right now. So you can just tap them and work your way through. And then this is where the clever stuff happens. So this load layout button, if we turn it on, we can see it fills in red, so we know we're, we're in load mode. So now, let's say we want to load uh, for the drop, we're going to go white with a gobo spinning fast, right? So we're just going to come out of that. We don't have to, but it's just nice to come out. And then we're going to hit on the drop, go loaded. So there we are. We have gobo in white spinning fast. Boom, boom, boom. With this, we don't have to load everything. We can only load certain things. So let's say we want to come out of the gobo on the next button press, next go go button. So we just hit go, and that's it. Nothing else changes, only the sequence that was loaded. Okay? Really, really cool, right? Love it. So how does this work, and why does it work as well? How and why? Right, so let's go into this. So, the load macro. We have set layout one, property action load, okay? So why why is it layout one? That's the first question, probably. Layout one. So this is the layout we're using, and we can see up here, we're in layout one. If you had more, you would have different numbers, basically. So we could be in layout 12, but we're not. We're in layout one. So that's why that is one. So you would change that to whatever you're you're using. And then next, we're changing the property of the action on the buttons to load. Let me show you. So we go to spin here. We can see right now it's a go. And if we were to turn this macro on, we now have the action of the button to load, right? Easy as that. So this changes everything within layout one to load. The action is load. And next up we have an appearance assign. So this is just so we know we're in load or we're not. And then we've got a break line here waiting for the user input to go back to go. And then this is exactly the same as the top changes it to go rather than load and then we assign a blank appearance these appearances by the way are ones i've i've made built in very quickly and just named them that there's nothing fancy about them at all um yeah simple as that and then the next macro is the go button okay and this <laughs> one line is as simple as that is i wish this was implemented in mode 2 but sadly it's not but here we are, yeah, go loaded. That's all we need, all we need for that. So this basically just tells anything that's loaded, anything, to go. So that's why we can have three things, we can have two things, we can have one things loaded, one things, one, one sequence loaded. Simple as that, okay? Let's just do, let's go blue, do a go, let's turn off the spin. We don't want it to spin. And we go. Boom. We're in a gobo. It's not spinning and it's blue. Simple as that. You can add position or anything anything else you want to add in there. You can add. And it will change everything within layout one to load. Okay? Beautiful stuff.